It's been a night and morning of relief for the parents of five-year-old Michaela Manassi of Great Pond St. Anne, who was found last night after being missing for almost two days. The Gleaner traveled to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital where we spoke to the parents who were overcome with joy. The words can't describe how I'm feeling. I would put it in one word, I would say I'm feeling overwhelmed and also blessed to have my life back because she is my life. She's okay. She's actually smiling because the same night when she came and we were all there hugging her up and thing, my sister said to her, Kaylee, Michaela, come and take a picture. And she went and posed. And everybody started to laugh because I'm saying, this little girl just went through two days of not seeing her mom, but she was posing for a picture. And said, that's the baby girl I know. Always, never had a moment in her life. And I'm saying, like, when she was coming from the theater and she saw her father and she saw all her friends and people she knew, she was laughing and smiling that everybody started to laugh. And I started to cry because I said, I, like I said last night at RFM, I want to have more memories with my baby having fun. And I did. From, the day, from, the, from last night, I took her up in my arms. I've been smiling. I've been laughing. And I've been crying, not in sorrow, but in joy. When I heard the news that she was found, I was at home with her little sister, bigger sister. And mommy called me about, look after 12, say, Michi, Michaela, come. And I was like, oh, on the ground, trembling, of happiness, of happiness. We just came back from IRFM. We told the guys that was with us to go and check to make sure that there was no one outside. They went and I did that, and they went around the back, and then they went inside to make sure that there was no one there. Then we came up and we went in the house and we checked on in the bed. And we just checked her because we were all scared. We were all still scared. So we were just making sure that there was nothing. I then I said, Mommy, I'm hungry. And I went into my mommy's room and I took out a cornbread and I went in the fridge. I took out a piece of cheese. And I got a, a cup of ice water and I sit on my city and my sister said, She not asleep. I said, Me not sleep on my bed. I said, Come watch some movie. I put in a DVD and we sit and we're watching it and we're like, It was a comedy. So one of the time we got a joke and we laughed. Then like I took up my phone to call one of my friend who was calling me to ask me if I was okay. And through, I was locked out, I closed off the phone so I couldn't get it. So I called him and I said, yeah, I'm okay and I'm at home right now. He said, what do you eat? I said, I'm cranberry and cheese. And then he was there like making fuss. Anyway, I'm there like dozing off in sleep when I heard, mommy, mommy. But I was still like relaxing because from she been missing, every time I tried to sleep, that I would, I would hear her calling my name, mommy, mommy. So I thought that I must be dreaming. Then my friends at him said, Odysseus, you asleep? I said, no, I'm not sleeping. I wake up. I wouldn't say I know me here. Mommy, mommy. That's when I realized she was actually calling me. So I run out and said, mommy, 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 the baby come, the baby come. She run back and she called me. Run going back, run going back. My brother Esco. And my sister, baby father, my mom, baby father, and some other guys were there. Three run, so, and the other one ran to the front to go to the side to see if they could catch who was out there. But when my brother came running and said, the baby come home, the baby come home, we are all screaming, shouting. So when you look, we see all the neighbors, like, they're already outside looking, being a security guard. I was wondering, how the heck they get out there so fast? Because when we came, the street was empty. And when we scream, like, for one minute, the street was full, people in nighty, barefoot, everything you can think of, they were all there. Despite the expectations of family members for little Michaela to return home today, she won't be released as further investigations are being carried out. She remains in the care of the state.